How the Easter Bunny Saved Christmas, written and illustrated by Derek Anderson. One cold, blustery Christmas Eve not long ago, Santa was helping the elves load the sleigh. He was filling the last bag of gifts when he bent down for just a second, and that's when it happened. A toy train bonked him right on the noodle. It knocked him as flat as a penguin pancake. Poor Santa was out cold. After the doctor put Santa to bed, Mrs. Claus turned her attention to Christmas. What are we going to do? She cried. There was no one to deliver the gifts. Mrs. Claus had to look after Santa. The elves didn't know the route, and the entire team of reindeer was brand new. There was only one thing left to do. Mrs. Claus called the only other fellow who makes the trip every year in one night. I'll be there in two shakes of a cottontail, said the Easter Bunny and he dashed off to the snowy north to help. The Easter Bunny climbed aboard Santa's sleigh and called the new reindeer by name. On Flicker, on Flapper, on Jumbo and Fritz, on Rocky, on Rosie, on Lumpy and Blitz, and the Christmas sleigh was off. The only problem was, the Easter Bunny forgot to open the barn doors and they crashed through, nearly knocking the reindeer silly. Oops, sorry fellas, he said. The reindeer were not amused. He tried to make it up to them when they started the deliveries. Luckily, he had the perfect treat, jelly beans. Pugh, said Flicker, as he and the others spit them out. Doesn't he know we like candy canes? The reindeer could tell this wasn't the Easter Bunny's holiday. He was already cold. He's sure not Santa Claus, said Flicker. Not even close, said Flapper. Just look at him, said Jumbo. He doesn't even like cookies. He wants carrot cake, said Fritz. But the real trouble began when the Easter Bunny tried to follow Santa's secret notes. Every home has a special place where they'd like Santa to leave their presents, and Easter Bunny just didn't understand. He did everything wrong. Please put the fawn was family gifts right under the tree. The Myers like their presents in their stockings. The Watsons like their gifts placed directly under the holly. But it wasn't until they stopped on a snowy roof in the Midwest that everything changed. The Easter Bunny was freezing his cottontail off and the deliverers were getting behind. He was trying to hurry when he took one step out of the sleigh and slipped off the roof into a giant snow bake below. When the reindeer looked over the edge, they saw the Easter Bunny lying in a perfectly Santa-shaped hole. They suddenly saw him like they had never had before. You know, he isn't trying to take the place of Santa, said Rocky. He's just filling in, said Rosie. He'll need help if he wants to save Christmas, said Lumpy. Let's jingle, said Blitz. After pulling the Easter Bunny from the snowbanks, Flicker, Flapper, Jumbo, and Fritz, Rocky, Rosie, Lumpy, and Blitz bounced onto the sleigh. Each grabbed a bag of gifts, and one by one, they flew off to homes across the neighborhood. Merry Christmas to all, cried the Easter Bunny. And suddenly, he wasn't cold anymore. Slipping in and out of snow-capped chimneys, the Easter Bunny and reindeer quickly caught up. They worked together delivering to every home and apartment, every condo, cabin, and camper in the world until they finished the entire list. And just as the sun came up, they headed back to the North Pole. Santa was feeling much better by then. He and Mrs. Claus invited everyone to Christmas breakfast where they surprised the Easter Bunny with the biggest slice of carrot cake he'd ever seen. Merry Christmas, Easter Bunny, said Santa Claus. Ho, 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 laughed the Easter Bunny, and they all had a glorious Christmas day. And that's how the Easter Bunny saved Christmas. Well, sort of. <laughs>